Yo, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over the best Counter-Strike 2 view model settings. Maybe not the best in existence, but definitely my favorite uh, set of settings to use. And I'll also be going over kind of what they all mean so that you can configure things your own way if you maybe don't like a thing or two about the way I do things. So yeah, uh, without further ado, these are the settings, right? You just paste this set of commands into your console. You just copy paste it. I'll have it in the description of this YouTube video. So you can just copy it directly from there. So now that we've loaded in, I'm going to go over kind of what the different settings all do, uh, what they all mean, how to maybe configure them a little bit further. I also didn't know that would kill me. This match to me. Uh, but anyway, when I open up the console here, I'm going to paste this in. The first command, uh, preset pause zero. Basically, there's presets for view models in CS. So you have preset pause one and preset pause two. Uh, and these are built-in presets for view models in Counter-Strike, just like the default way for the game to look. Uh, and both of those just override your settings. So if, if I change the view model offset and all the other stuff that I change, but I didn't change preset pause to zero, you would actually overwrite uh, what I change. You can see valid options, right? Those are the two valid options. Uh, so yeah, preset pause zero basically lets you use custom view models for the, for the short of it. As for the next command, uh, view model offset X, that's how far to the right my weapon is. So let me actually paste this back in so we have the view model back how it was. Uh, but yeah, let me actually go die real quick so I can equip a weapon that maybe shows it off a little better than just the Glock here. You can see when I'm when I'm out here looking out this way, I can see the full side of my AK, like the whole weapon is just kind of nice and visible. It does cut, cut off in the corner, but I actually like it that way, and I'll explain why a little bit later. But yeah, you can see I can see my weapon uh, skin, I can see all the stickers and stuff really easily, all nice and shiny, all nice and good looking. If I change my view model offset X to zero, which is the default, you can see it's more in the center and the, it's hard to see the stickers now, right? The stickers are like along the side of the gun. If I go even further than that, like the Doom FOV, you just can't even see the stickers with this, uh, which just isn't great, right? I, I spent some money on some of these stickers. And I think especially with this Glock, the stickers just look really nice and add a lot to the weapon. Uh, so seeing as much of that as possible, it's just nice for me. It's, it's like slightly competitively unviable, right? If I'm like looking here, for example, for some reason I was looking up this way, I'm now covering this whole area, right? Whereas if I had maybe zero, you can see I can now see that hallway. Or even if I have, you know, minus two, I can definitely see this whole area way better. Like if you're competitive, a minus two is kind of optimal because it's just always in the center of your screen. You can look left, you can look right, you can see things. But uh, I'm not super hyper competitive like that. I like seeing my skins and 2.5 lets me see my skins. As for it, the Y value, uh, this is just how far out your gun is, so this is the closest you can have it. You can see it kind of just pushed it back toward my character. Some people might like this because it kind of like fills your screen a little bit nicer, but I like seeing more of my gun, and with two I can see more of my gun. Maybe two is a little bit too high. Maybe like, and I could do like one or zero. But then if I have it like a zero, I don't even see the right hand anymore, which I find kind of weird. Two is just nice. It's the nice, it's the nice, just fully out type of thing. Uh, another thing that's kind of similar to that is view model FOV. Uh, which goes from either 60 to 68. This is 60. It's nice and zoomed in. It almost looks like I changed the offset Y again, but V-Model FOV basically just does a very similar type of thing. Uh, V-Model FOV 68 just pushes out more, and I can see more of my gun, so I like doing that. Uh, and then V-Model Offset Z pushes it up or down, right? So I can have all the way up like here, where I'm almost like holding my weapon above myself and shooting down, which I don't really like. It looks kind of goofy. Uh, changing like a value one still looks goofy changing a value zero it looks a bit more reasonable with this but it still feels kind of high minus one just kind of feels right it feels like this is where the weapon would be if i was actually like shooting it or whatever it just it just seems like the right height to me and then minus two whoops i did minus minus two minus two actually looks right as well but you'll notice the right glove with the ak is just completely off screen which some people might like i really don't it feels weird to me it looks off to me and also when i swap to other weapons like you see i'm walking on my my glock here i don't even see my sleeves when i'm running forward i can only see my gloves and my weapon whereas if i change it back to minus one which is what i use i can still barely see the sleeves when i'm walking when i'm not walking and when i have other weapons i can see them a lot clearer but for me, having like your hands cut off like that, you know, the, not seeing them on screen, just isn't great. So I, I like being able to see them. And yeah, uh, that's all the different values I change. That's kind of why I change them. That's how you change them. 
Uh, a notable downside with this is with the knife, uh, not the knife, any knife and any kind of dual beretta, uh, you'll notice the X offset, right? So if you have like ACD, or not ACD, OCD or whatever, uh, you'll notice right away what I mean. I mean, uh, <laughs> the dualies are super out of position. The right dualies way over here, the left dualies almost lined up with a crosshair. That looks very bad. I just don't use the dualies enough to care. Uh, and then with the knife, this one's a little bit less noticeable, but if you look at like the HUD elements at the bottom, for example, you can look at the 100 health there, and then the knife over here, it's like not aligned at all, and then this right hand's out of the middle of nowhere, which some people don't like. I know that's a real problem for people. To fix that, you just want to change the view model offset X to zero, uh, and zero is, is the default for that. This is how they expect you to use it. You can see the dualies are way more central. What's crazy is the dualies still aren't dead centered with zero. Like, you actually don't even want to use that. You want to use, like, what, like 0 0.1, I think? If it's 0 0.2, maybe even 0 0.3. I think 0 0.2 looks the closest to, to centered for the dualies. Then for the knife, it looks pretty solid as well. I, I almost thought about going with this, because you can still kind of see the, the stickers on your weapons here. And then you're also able to peek corners like this properly without having to, like, pull out your gun all the way because if i do the the 2.5 again you see I, I have a hard time kind of peeking this corner with the 2.5 i swap back to 0 0.2 i can peek this corner a bit easier my gun takes up less of my screen there i don't know something about like not seeing I, I guess here i can see my stickers enough i might actually go swap to this instead i'm not like the super competitively oriented player but i can actually see my stuff enough to be happy and then get a competitive benefit then like why not so I might rock this instead. Uh, also makes my op look cooler, in my opinion. I like the more central op compared to the, the more outward op, right? Where where it like goes out into the corner like this, uh, versus the the way the scope was almost like on top of the weapon when it's closer to center. I like it being more on top of the weapon. So I might just rock the zero point two. I feel like that's a good value. It, it looks good. It looks central with the dualies. It looks central with the knife. Uh, and I don't have OCD, but it's nice when things align like that. <laughs> and that's kind of how the game was built. But you can change it however you want, whatever looks nicest to you. I think this actually looks more than good enough for me. And I have to pull out my Glock to fully check. Because that's the, honestly, that's the only, like, sticker craft that I care about at all. Is my, my Glock and then my USPS. See, with the Glock, I can't fully see the stickers here. But I, I can see them enough. They're glowing enough where I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm okay with this value. But with like a 2.5, you can just see it's so, so, so much more, right? Like here, you can clearly see every single sticker that's supposed to be Australis and like the nice way it changes colors and all that. And then here, you like, you can see it, but you actually have to kind of think about what sticker it might be. You can see the glow, which is most of what I like it for. Uh, and then if I swap teams real quick, you can see my other weapons, USPS, the m 4 one s Alright, the M4A1S here, you can kind of see the stickers, they're a bit shiny, maybe there's some some other settings I can change so that the you know, gun is a little bit less shiny and I can actually see the stickers better. But if I also just have the V-Model Offset X here, I can very clearly see, right, the Fnatic, the King of the Field, and the Doge are still kind of chilling there. Um, I can still see that with the 0 0.2, of course, but it's, it's almost harder, I don't know how to describe it. And with this craft as well, like, you just can't even tell what stickers are on the weapon right now. Like, comment below right now at this exact moment if you know what stickers are on my weapon. Because I sure fucking don't. The 2.5, it becomes a little bit more obvious. You can see it's the it's the PGL major little anime wing girl hollow thing. And then the overpass gold souvenir thing. That's, that's one of my favorite crafts I've ever made. Because I, like, lightly scraped the PGL sticker or whatever, and I think it really added a lot. I don't know, I guess I'll go with 0.2. It gives me some benefits, and it looks just about as nice. Uh, and then the rest of the values, I'm going to keep the same. Yeah, I guess I could also pull out a shotgun and stuff, just show off that type of stuff. Let me, let me go do that. Well, like a 5.7 and a Nova, you can see. There you go, you can see my Nova. Looks good, looks solid, it's a shotgun. My 5.7, I can see my little like V-face thingy that I spent some time hunting out. Uh, we go to... I guess I can't swap, excuse me, let me swap weapons. Okay, here we go. Like a P90, like a, a Deagle. I guess we haven't shown up the Deagle yet. The Deagle looks pretty nice here. It looks a little bit better, obviously, with the 2.5. I think this just looks more natural. But 0 0.2 looks natural enough, and then everything else gets to be centered, which I do actually like. I've come to realize I like that a bit more. Uh, and then, yeah. All, right, all, all pretty good looking, all pretty nice. 
not really too much to say here. And uh, that's that's that. That's kind of like a little demo explanation showcase of my CS uh, offset stuff. You know, why I changed the values the way I did. The way that you can change these values yourself to make it look like a little bit more different. And uh, yeah, with that being said, hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.